Let's see if the rat will eat this. Go. Oh! 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 Can... Uh, okay. We interrupt this very exciting ending to the game house for a very special announcement, and that announcement is this. Game theory, film theory, food theory, holiday merch is available right now for the holiday. I said holiday twice. Why would I say holiday twice? Holiday merch implies that it's available for the holiday. That was dumb, Matt. That was d not you, Matt. That was dumb yeah, me, Matt. Yeah, there's two of us here. Yeah, there's two, Matt. I, 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 I don't want you to feel attacked. That was me attacking myself. Thank you for clarifying. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Just So we're all on the same page. Holiday merch is available right now, and it's really exciting because there's a lot of really awesome, really unique stuff that we have. For instance, the very shiny coat that I have on right now. Uh, you know me. I love suits. I love jackets. I love things that keep you warm and snuggly. And you also know that I keep the basement of our house frigid, which is where we shoot. And so I have this really nice, warm souvenir jacket that is I mean high quality some of the, the highest quality youtuber merch I've ever seen reinforced pockets everything is stitched into this thing you even have the like nice poofy inside so it's not just a cool looking jacket but it's also warm hit me with another item we've got so much outerwear if this is too heavy for you or if you don't want to be shiny boom how about this one it's a game theory asymmetric hoodie which I, again, I love. And this one actually comes with a story. So this one was designed by a member of the Theorist community. If you will think back to earlier this year when we were doing the 10-year anniversary stuff, uh, some of the fan art that was featured was of someone designing, hey, this would be cool, possible merch at some point down the line. I loved that design so much that I had the creatoring team reach out to that community member, buy the design off of them, and we made it into a real physical product. So we have one right here which is the game theory one we also have a film theory one which is red and gold and gray which is so cool we got a big pocket right here we've got the zipper right here with game theory written on the collar it is so awesome it's got the hood it's got the finger holes thumb holes oh, so amazing and it's done by you guys this is one of my favorite things ever because it just shows the community aspect to everything what's this <laughs> Was that a good toss? That was a good toss. That was, that was a solid toss. You <laughs> missed your career in baseball. Uh, we got some sweatpants or fancy sweatpants, actually. They're joggers. Um, you know, might be might be summoning some, like, Unis Anis, actually. Uh, with the black and white theme, you got theorists down the leg. Uh, these are really nice. They fit tight along your legs, which is really cool. Uh, they're they feel really comfortable. They are great to lounge around the house in, but also nice enough to walk around in public with. And we also have the matching shirt which is also black and white and kind of themed around NASA. This whole this whole collection has a bit more of a like spacey vibe to it. This jacket doesn't. This just <laughs> We had a lot of ideas and we really wanted to do this jacket. We're like, let's do the jacket for the holidays. Um, but the rest of them have kind of like a, a NASA theme or space theme, which is really fun. Uh, also backed by popular demand, the Game Theory Switch Case, uh, one of our most popular selling items that you guys have ever asked for. Uh, we did a holographic one, we did a black and green one, and so we decided to reverse it and make a green and black one. Uh, super cool, super awesome design, nice solid case to keep your Switch protected. Inside you got the nice neon green. Show your theorist pride while also protecting your Switch, because there's so many good games on the Switch these days, and also coming out in 2022. There's more. I'm also going to show off this blanket just because, you know, I love a good snuggly blanket. And for those of you who are the truly loyalist of theorists, man, I, I turned it the wrong way. I had a I had a 50% chance of getting it right and I got it wrong. There you go. So for the truly loyalist of theorists, you have a blanket that represents every single channel. Show your Omega theorist pride by showing off all four channels. Look at that, including GT Live which is super exciting. Yeah, GT Live getting the respect that it deserves amongst the rest of the channel roster. So there is that. There's even more jackets because we just had a lot of jacket ideas. There's a puffy jacket uh, that has like a quilting built into it, which is also super warm. There is so much stuff and it's all available, right? Oh, I forgot. The there's a mug too. I forgot about the mug. Look, there's a mug. 
For years, you guys have been asking us to do a mug, and it took us a while to find a, a mug design that we really liked and wanted to do. And so you got your little caffeine theory. Comes in a crate and everything. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you know that that merch is available right now. And unlike a lot of other products this holiday season, which are going through a lot of shipping delays and a lot of supply uh, limitations, here we ordered this stuff long, long ago. It's been sitting in my closet. I've been so excited to wear it on, on these episodes. I've been so excited to show it to you. That's why I'm spending so much time with it. I've been so excited to show you off because it's, it's so much work, but I'm so proud of everything that we've done. And it's waiting to ship out to you so that way you get it without having to worry about like, it's gonna take five months to get here. You're pre-ordering this for middle of 2022. No, you order it, you'll get it, especially if you order it now, you're gonna get it well before Christmas. It'll be ready under the tree or around whatever holiday that you celebrate or, you know, just in your closet hanging and ready to use when you need it, when it's cold outside and you wanna wear a nice snuggly warm jacket. So all of those items are available right below this video. Also on the Creator Inc. website, you know where to find it. If you know us, you know that we take a lot of pride in delivering you like highest quality stuff uh, with high quality materials, designs that are gonna last, stuff that's embroidered in. All of this is, const this isn't just like, we sprayed a design onto a, a hoodie and yay, it's merch. No, this is stuff that was literally sewn and crafted from scratch by us and not by us. Like, you know, but we like we designed it all. We worked closely with the team. We know the factories that we're working with. And so it's one of those things that we're really proud of it. I think you're gonna really love this stuff once you get your hands on it. Uh, the designs are really cool, really unique. So I hope you check them out. I hope you find something that you like. The last thing I should probably mention is that because we ordered things in advance and because there are so many shipping delays because of COVID and things, uh, the supplies are super limited. It's not a, we're artificially shortening our quantities so that way you feel FOMO. We're not, we don't play that game. We ordered what we thought we could sell, but that also means that if something sells beyond what we expected or whatever, it's just gone and it's gonna be a long time before it comes back. So if any of these products are interesting to you, uh, I would place your order early to make sure that you get them. Um, that's not me trying to scare you. It's just letting you know, like I don't want anyone to be disappointed. And we have a lot of stuff, but also based on what we sold in the past, like we're right at kind of what we think we can sell. So anyway, hopefully you check it out. Hopefully you like it. And now let's finish off house. Woo. Thanks. Yeah. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where right now it's time for some bloodshed. We're revisiting the deadliest, most disturbing, horrific, pixelated game that you can imagine. It's called House. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched, this is an ongoing series. I think this is what, part four? Of what we've been doing, right, man? That is correct. Nice. Um, this game's great. Uh, we started playing it uh, for October, for Halloween, and it's awesome. It's a game where there's a lot of different endings. Uh, all your actions have to be done in a certain window of time in order to hopefully get to the, the various endings, like save your family, kill your family. Uh, it's a house full of demons but also there's something else afoot. Uh, and so we're in the process of trying to get to what I assume is the true ending. We've saved our family. Yep. We've played, we've had our sister play music for our dad, which kind of made him get all emotional. But now we're doing the endings where we kill everyone because why not? Uh, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Duh, it's, it's a horror game. Of course you gotta kill everyone. Because the toilet monster told me to. I'm sorry, Mom and Dad. The toilet told me to swing an axe to your face. And that's apparently our goal right now. Real quick, and th this is just, you know, we have our little, like, digressions at the beginning of these things. Yesterday, I gave blood. Um, I've been wanting to over the course of COVID, but timing has never worked out. I keep seeing blood mobiles pop up and it's like, oh, I meant to go there and then I miss it. Uh, so I went yesterday and it was good. Um, it's one of those things that... Strange biological fact, uh, guys don't have an opportunity to like regularly lose blood in their system, so it just gets recirculated a bunch. Uh, so it's it's a, it's a good thing to do every once in a while, just if, for yourself to like refresh. This is what I've learned from learning about this stuff. But um, what I learned, and I, I'm curious if this surprises you, Matt, that apparently, because I, I was surprised, as I was waiting there, there were uh, me and then five women waiting. And I'm like, that's that's odd. Um, and I asked the phlebotomist, I think is the name for like person who draws blood. I'm like, Hey, do you see trends in like, who gives more blood men or women? And she said, Oh, women hands down. Mm. And I was surprised. Like, I don't, she's like, I don't know why, but it's a thing. And I was surprised by that. And even while I was there, there were two guys waiting who actually chickened out 
and walked out before before they gave and it was it was it was odd and i don't know what it is about men versus women but apparently women are much more likely to do it well men are also much less likely to go to the doctor in general that's interesting mm -hmm. I, is that a stat yeah i didn't know that yeah uh, women are way more likely to go to the doctor really mm -hmm. that's fascinating i think it's you know like toxic masculinity like, oh i'm too tough i can i can i can handle it mm -hmm. i can tell and, and, but then when you see showing me a and needle in a blood it's like oh no <laughs> yeah. no no thanks no i'm done bye <laughs> yeah no so anyway I, the reason i bring this up is one because this is a bloody game and it you know and i just did this yesterday um but it made me think of it because I thought it was an interesting stat that I want to share with you. I also asked, because I'm the data nerd, right? And so I think this, the, the phlebotomist was like confused why I was asking all these questions. Because I'm also like, do you see any trends at play? Because they go to what, like churches, to small local businesses, gyms. I did it out front of the gym. And I'm like, do you notice any trends of like what places are more likely to give blood or where you see more people say yes? Uh, and she said, definitely not gyms. Uh, mm. which I was also surprised by. Yeah. Um, my assumption is that at a gym, one, you're either like timing wise, you're already going to the gym on like your extra time. And so the idea of taking more extra time out to go to like a, you know, 35 minutes and give blood, maybe that doesn't work or you're doing it in between meals. And, and so you're feeling low and you're afraid of like passing out. Um, the other thing I was thinking, though, is you tend to go to the gym, like, by yourself or maybe with one other person, but there's no social pressure to give. Whereas if you're at, like, a church or at a small business where, like, it's, it's a company thing, now all of a sudden there's social pressure to do it because, oh, well, everyone else is. And so there's support, there's, I, well, everyone else is doing it, I should do it. Whereas the gym is kind of like a solo, you see people entering and leaving the gym solo. So I don't know. It was just interesting. It's a spooky way to spend your Halloween. Getting your Give, blood drawn. Giving your blood drawn. Yeah. Well, it was a day after. It was All oh, Souls Day. So, okay. You know. Gotcha. Yeah. Right? All Souls Day? I get freaked out by that stuff really easily. Really? I hate. Blood. It's not needles. It's blood. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. I get real queasy. Yeah. For me, I, so there was a period of time when I was in middle school and middle school, high school, I had horrible, horrible acne, tried everything under the sun and ended up going with this medicine that worked wonders. It was amazing. Um, nothing else worked on me. This stuff was great, but legally uh, it was extreme and had, there had been patients in the past who had had uh, like, uh, it had made them depressed. It had made them feel uh, suicidal in some way. And so they needed to take your blood work every month to make sure that your levels were stable and that this medicine wasn't doing anything weird to your to your body or to kind of like your your internal chemistry. And so I had to get up to that point. I had never given blood. I had never done anything like blood samples, things like that. But with that, I had to get used to doing monthly blood draws. Mm. And at first I was scared. And then I'm like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then yeah. like... I kind of fell into the rhythm of it. And at this point, I'm totally fine with it. The one thing that I have to do, and I, I feel like I'm on the, the other side of the spectrum, I have to watch every step of the process. Oh, like I have to I have to watch the whole thing. I have to see everything happen. I have yeah. to see, this is weird, but like I have to see like, you know, them, them penetrate my skin yeah. in order to like feel comfortable with oh. it. So that way I don't... The unknowing, like yeah. it makes me feel like I'm in control of it in a way. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, I'm okay with this. And then gotcha. once I'm in, it's it's fine. Yeah. So. No, I'm looking away. I'm having them tickle my arm so I don't, I can't yeah. tell where it is. Uh -huh. Yeah. I want the least amount of involvement possible. See, yeah. And then for me, like the less connected to it I am, the more scared I am mm. of. So I'm like, no, I need to watch every step of this process. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I told Steph afterward, I'm like, I filled up the bag in eight minutes and 20 <laughs> seconds. She's like, you have a problem. <laughs> Yes, probably too. But I, you're trying to speed run giving blood. Yeah, I was trying to speed run giving blood. <laughs> I was good. She's like, I need to squeeze that ball every three to five seconds. I'm like, I'm squeezing every second. I got this. Um, <laughs> so bad. I wanted to ask her what the average bag fill time was just to see how I ranked relative to. She's like, you've got a problem. Uh, maybe. So anyway, any phlebotomists in the audience, let me know what the average bag fill time is for giving a pint of blood. Uh, so that way I can measure my progress. Uh, anyway, 
Anyway, that's uh, that's the giving blood stuff. Uh, if if you can and are able, it's always a nice thing to do. Uh, you know, because there's a lot of people in need, and if you're lucky enough to have good blood, uh, you know, going when we went to Saint, and this goes back to Saint Jude, which we're working on. Uh, when we did Saint Jude the first year, uh, I tried to give blood there as kind of like a show of solidarity, but. Uh, they they were actually booked out or th there was some there was some reason I couldn't do it at the time and so ever since I've been trying to find opportunities to do it because I don't know it just helps and if you're in good health which I fortunately am so I try to pay it forward as much as I can so anyway uh, that's that's that uh, now let's head on to house shall we friends so let's kill our dad <laughs> and with all that being said Let's kill our dad. Uh, right? That, that was where we left off, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. Cool. Um, and it's just killing the dad, because we had killed our whole family yep. last time, right? Well, we had tried to kill our whole family. I don't think we ever actually got there. Oh, what a shame. I know. Okay, so did we that, do so anything last episode? What? I don't think we did anything last oh, episode. No, don't say that, Matt. Really? <laughs> really? Do we not oh, do Oh, no, anything? we evaded the, uh, the big fridge monster, and that was an ending. Okay. Okay. So should I be killing people or no? Should I try to keep everyone alive? Just dad. I don't think it matters with the dad. I think it's just like once he comes home, it's it's go time. Okay, it's, it's, it's go time. So I think what we realized last time was that we really need, um, we really need the bear trap. So I think our goal here is to not use the bear trap on our little rat friend here and instead use it on on our dad so we definitely need our two we definitely need our two bullets for sure and we definitely need did i oh i didn't pick up the bowling ball again um and we definitely need our bear trap i think those are the things that we're aiming for this time to try and get him so let's pick up all of our kind of supplies so there's our bear trap Let's see, let's go. I don't really want my sister to die. I know I just killed the cat, so I can't keep everyone yeah, you alive. you killed the cat, like, immediately. You know, because I'm in a hurry. I got stuff to do, man. We've got three endings, and I kind of want this to be our last playthrough of this, because we've, you know, we've done a lot of this game. Yeah. I'm kind of hoping it's our final one. So I, I ain't got time to mess around with the cat. I did kind of remorselessly kill the cat, though. Yeah, I, like, didn't even mention the fact that you were doing it just kind of did it coldly you know, i i figured by bringing attention to it oh well our sister's gonna die now too shoot well seems like seems like everyone's kind of in a bad way aren't they i'm sorry sis should i just kill everyone you're now? not even gonna warn her I'm gonna walk right by her what she's playing our song what am i gonna do what am i gonna do matt oh geez my cat's coming back to haunt me. He's like, oh, and mom's dead. So there you go. Like, honestly. <laughs> oh, God. Well, we're not doing, we're not doing great. It's, I'm, I'm a little out of practice with this game, I gotta say. You know, I've, I've forgotten how everything works. People are dying left and right. Uh, how am I gonna get the second shotgun shell from the rat when the rat's in here? No, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> Shoot. Um, oh, apple or sandwich. Mom didn't. Mom died. Yeah. But she didn't make me a sandwich. You think she didn't make a sandwich? Yet? No, she didn't make me a sandwich. She died before she could make me a sandwich. I could. I could loot her corpse, perhaps. Maybe her corpse will yield me a sandwich. Let's see. Let's see if I can steal. Oh no, that uh, mom is. Mom's not doing too hot right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have been so. Uh, careless with everyone's lives in this moment, you know? Oh, jeez, there's- Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no, mommy, no! Ah! Oh no! See, she made a sandwich. <laughs> okay, so maybe we should try to keep everyone alive. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should be less, uh, less carefree with everyone's lives. <laughs> that was bad news. Everyone was real mad at me for that one. I can't imagine why either. Wake up. Wake up. Move. Oh, I gotta get the milk. That's right. It's been a while since I've done this. I have to I have to remind myself of all these steps. Okay, here we go. Spilled milk. Oh, no. No, he's crying over spilled milk. Okay. Boop. 
food? Okay, but you're, I think you're right about the sandwich. I think we try the sandwich with the rat. Okay. And I think the rat might be put to sleep or might be happy or something and be less likely to kill us, which would be nice. He's just hangry. Uh, you're not you when you're hungry. Grab a, grab a Snickers cat. Or grab a Snickers rat. Uh, okay, here we go. So mom shouldn't be dying. One, two. And a swing and a miss. Three, there we go. Okay, so here, gun. And drop. Perfect. Hand. There is no saving this guy. You know, no matter what we do in this game, no no saving him. He's classic Toby. Classic Toby. Poor guy. Just not not doing so hot. Okay, drop this guy. Great, got that. Let's save our sister. Boop. Great, there. There. Here, okay. Something strange happened to me. I was just squirming along when suddenly everything went black. I couldn't feel anything. It felt like an eternity passed. And then out of nowhere, I appeared in this room again. Okay, well, but you won't help me. Will you help me? Help me. Can you help me? I'm starting to memorize this tune. Hop on. Pick it up. Yeah, help me out. Cool, there's my sister. She's about to get really depressed. My mom is still, oh, I gotta tur turn off the fire. I gotta turn off the fire. That's a thing that exists in the world. Turn off the fire. There we go. I turned it off. Okay, there's my sister. She's gonna go to the toilet, which we do not want. Okay, come on, Toby. Come on, Marvin. Snail. Okay. I mean, sandwiches, come and eat. So that we'll get there. First, I gotta destroy the toilet. Boom. Okay, so that's gone. And now, in a depression, she comes to her room. But we're gonna get rid of that. Fantastic. So now... I'm gonna put this on you, so that way you leave me alone later. I need the sandwich. Boop. Thanks for the sandwich, Mom. That's delicious. Let's see if the rat will eat this. Go. Oh! Oh! Can... Uh, okay. So you're hanging with snails now. Do, do you know me? Careful where you pour that, someone could slip and fall. Are you threatening me with that thing? Go away. That slingshot smells divine and familiar. You'll shoot your eye out with that thing. No, 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 no. Bad. Bad. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so two shotgun shells. Wait, can I keep talking to you? Because you have interesting things to say. <laughs> I wanna, you'll shoot your eye out. Okay, yep, that's fair. Hey, that's my, that's my ax. I don't like people touching my stuff. It's very warm in here. You guys should fix the AC. What? What is, <laughs> so, on one hand, it's like, it feels like it's, it's lore, but on the other hand, it just feels random and arbitrary. Okay. I'm concerned about whatever that was. So I'm gonna put this here. And then we're gonna shotgun him. We're gonna shotgun dad. Totally fine. We got him. He's coming home. Coming home from work. Don't touch the, okay, okay. Hey, 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 hey. No, stop it. Bad. <laughs> okay, there we go. Little did you, little did the Ghostbusters know. There's a new Ghostbusters movie coming out soon, which I feel like is getting lost in the shuffle, um, which I, I guess I'm excited about. But um, apparently the Ghostbusters forgot about the part where you don't need proton packs or special laser chargers. All you need is a slingshot and smack them with a little, a little rock. Okay, here we go. This is it. Okay, I was very concerned about the fact that he was. Okay, reload, reload. Yeah! Okay. Yeah! I say as we fall to the ground, depressed about the fact that we just slaughtered our, our murder father. You fall to your knees exhausted. Father is dead. Yay? A winner is me? 
his head rolls over and his glossy eyes shift at you. Just a twitch once and no more. This is... Ah, games are weird, Matt. Games are weird. <laughs> the darkness retreats, but somewhere distant, a fleshy heartbeat continues. See, this, this makes sense to me. The evil isn't the demons and it isn't our family, the demon is the house, right? And at no point have we fought the house. So this actually leads me to believe that the final boss or the true ending is destroying the house, like burning it down or killing it in some way. There you go, okay. And I'm assuming that's tied to the, the clock. That's my guess. So we've killed ever so we've killed our dad. Yay. Okay, here's our doll friend. How cute. You really think you can get through this? I don't even care anymore. I was trying to help you. But go ahead, waste your time all you want. I bet you couldn't even do it without that snail anyways. See, you keep bringing up the snail. I think we have to do it without the snail. I don't know. Yeah, I think we have to do it without the snail for some reason. Okay. Which is unfortunate. Because I could do it without the snail. I just like the snail. If I had a, if I live in a world where I have the option of no snail on my head and snail on my head, I'm going snail on my head. Yeah. Right. I mean, it, it seems obvious. Yeah. To be, to be frank, like why, why go through life? Right. Snail. To judge me for wanting a snail on my head. Okay. So this was father. He's not human anymore. I don't know what he is, but it's not him. Is it strange that I felt relief after? No, because he was about to stab you in the eyeball. So, I don't think it's that strange. Okay, so, oh, see, and now, okay, so we have one more. Do you know what the last one is, Matt? I do. Okay, what is it? We we have to purposefully kill everybody. So, we've had endings where everybody's died. Yes. But not at our hands. Okay. It's time we, we, try go, that? we go akimbo on Who, everybody. Okay, akimbo? That's, right? Is that the reference? I don't know. Rambo? Ram we can we can go Rambo. We gotta kill everyone. Is okay, okay, saying. kill everyone. <laughs> yeah, and the toilet monster is involved. Right, I was gonna say because because the toilet. Well, because the toilet was the one that told us to kill people in the first place, right? Yeah. The toilet tells me things. But I don't. Okay, so if I'm killing people, sorry. Do I need to kill the cat? Yeah. Do I need to kill the rat? Yep. Okay. Any other rhymes? Do I need to kill the mat? <laughs> Do I need to kill the... Okay, the vat. Bat. Bat. There's no bats in this game. We do a lot here. of rhyming on this channel. Don't, don't be silly, Matt. We do a lot of rhyming on this. Yes, that is accurate. Okay, here we go. Let's get our bear trap. Great. Do I need to kill the snail? Oh, do I need to kill a snail? I don't think you can kill the snail. I bet I can. The snail is immortal. I bet I can kill that snail. Watch. Watch me. So. Oh, I'm not allowed to kill my mom no, that you, way. Yeah. Well, remember? I was going to say. Because we ran out of axe swings the last yes, time. Yes, exactly. I, rem I remember this now. Okay. Well, there's my sis. Should probably, should probably kill her, huh? Sorry. <laughs> That made me, I, I, I kind of felt bad about that, I gotta admit. That wasn't my greatest moment. <laughs> felt a little guilt. <laughs> Two. Shotgun. Okay, so now we're just figuring out what, creative ways to, to finish off the family. As you do. I need this. Okay. Nope. Nope. Get out. It's too early in the night. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Well. Can I get caught? Okay. Good. This isn't killing him though. Shoot. So that's broken. But hopefully we don't need it. We'll just find another way to. Okay. Here's this. Yeah, I'm gonna kill a snail. Ooh. Yeah! That's right! <laughs> I don't know why I'm celebrating that, because that was actually very sad. I just didn't want to run the risk. Okay, hey mom. Hey mom. Hey mom. So sorry. Oh, okay. That is truly unfortunate. <laughs> definitely, definitely felt bad about that one. That was, that was not a win. Okay, that- did it. 
Did I? I think everyone's dead. No, no, no. Remember, we had to do the long, long neck person last time. Oh. If I recall. We could always check in with. Ms. Yeah, toilet. toilet. Let's check in with toilet. Let's check in with toilet. Okay. Okay. I, uh. Okay. Good. Stop. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Check in with toilet monster. <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Hey, I'm doing your bidding. I'm doing your bidding for you, creepy. Hello again, child. I can smell your craving for blood. The house beckons to you. Your duty is, oh, my duty is fulfilled. Nice. Sweet. Your duty is fulfilled. So do I get a good ending then? Did, did I win? A, a winner is me. Did I do good? Did I do good? So do I just wait for the night to end then? The house beckons to you. Your duty is fulfilled. Okay, cool. Good for me. So proud of myself. I'm concerned about my dad. Is my dad gonna kill me? Okay. Tabby, I'm home. You've been a very good girl. Oh. <gasps> oh, love. What is this? What is the story of this game? Ooh, it's, this one's got the biggest bop for the ending. This is cool. The bad guys always get the best music. Blood pools in doorways and seeps into the carpet. Splatter covers the walls. It drips from your fingertips. Your father grins madly and embraces you. Oh, I got daddy's approval. The darkness swallows you both, leaving nothing behind. Great. Great. Feel good about that. Feels good, man. Oh, uh, and... Daddy's little girl. Like, like father, like daughter. Man. That, and that's all I had to do to get daddy's approval. How nice. Is the doll gonna pop up and be like, no. Yeah, there it is. So you're still at it, huh? Didn't you hear what I said? Just give up, won't you? This is your reality now. There's no way out. Stop trying. Just accept your fate, won't you? Stop resisting destiny. I won't let, I won't tell you again. It never ends. See, when you tell me, see, if you had not shown up as a post-credits reveal, I wouldn't have thought that I could have continued. But the fact that you're telling me it never ends seems to imply to me that it does end. You have, you have undone your own cause there, voodoo doll creature. So I'm assuming... Tell me if I'm right on this. Do I have to break open the, the clock? Um... I actually don't know, but I would assume so. I thought it would be harder than it was to think that the sight of blood made me queasy. Oh, see, we're talking about blood. Now it feels as natural as breathing. See, there's one left. And family was the one I saved. I did everything for a brief moment. Everything was back to normal. It didn't matter. I still woke up. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely a kill the house. Oh, yeah. I think we got to... It looks fully cracked. I think we got to smash the... I think we got to smash the clock. That's my guess. I think we also got to keep everyone alive. These are my guesses. Because I think what this is ultimately going to amount to is... Is change the... Kill the house. It becomes kill the house. Right? Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay. Leave me alone. Get the bucket for my mom. Yeah, so I think that the, this is going to kill the evil influence of the house, which in turn will... So let me just get all our supplies first. Oh, come on. Just to make sure that whatever weird ending thing we have... Okay, okay, so we're getting all our supplies. We're looking good so far. We'll save our sister real quick. Get a couple, uh, oh wait. Okay, there. I'm not gonna do it with the snail either just cause they keep telling me to quit with the snail. Oh, come on. 
Oh, come on. No! Ah, oh, shoot. Shoot. Well, well, there's that. Well, she's, she's dead, I guess. Might as well just go smash. We'll leave her to her fate. We'll just go smash the, the clock. Maybe it'll reset something. All right, clock. Hey, I see you. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay, so we... Okay, hi. Uh, 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 no. No. She joined not There it is. Boom. All right. Oh. Uh-huh. Hey. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, what the heck? What the heck? Hmm. Oh, hello. Can I? <gasps> it's more use to you than me. Take care of it. Oh, Toby. Okay, well, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to shoot you. Melody always hated that axe. I miss her so much. Oh. I knew I never should have come to this house. I don't think your father likes me very much. Melody hates bowling. We used to bond over that. That's his gun, isn't it? Oh. Oh, I want to I Do it for Toby! Oh, this is wild. Okay. So I'm assuming that this... Okay, so they blink when I shoot. So I need something to, like, distract them, or maybe I need to do that later. Or... Oh, hey! Okay. What? Okay, giant mouth. Can he can he eat the bowling ball? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Did that do anything? Can he eat this? No, I don't want to use that. I don't want you. What's going on? Now these guys. Uh, okay. Oh, oh my gosh! What the heck? Oh no! Oh no! What? Oh jeez. Okay. All right. I. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's different. That was unexpected. <laughs> I'm like, this is a suspiciously empty room now. Uh, okay, yeah, so I need to smash it. I like this game because it makes editing the cold opens so easy. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, right? There's so many good reaction shots. Wow! Yeah, you know, just your typical game where suddenly the house becomes possessed with all sorts of grotesque creatures and eyeballs and things. Do you want some hints and tips and tricks? Uh, yeah, just because I want to make sure that we get this done today. Uh, I'm assu- okay, so let me- let me pitch it out to you and then you can tell me if I'm on the right track or if I, like, need a lot of help. So I'm assuming that I need to kill off those body parts. Yes. Of the house, right? Mm -hmm. Um... I'm- and I'm also assuming that the bowling ball is related to the mouth. And the slingshot is related to the to the eyes. Yes. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm assuming. Uh. And the finger. So okay, let me guess. Fingers, mouth. Fingers, mouth, and uh, eyeballs are the things that we have to kill. Mm -hmm. Right. And I have. Do I need to axe the fingers? Yeah. I do, okay. Mm -hmm. Gosh, why can't I even aim this one anymore? Seriously though, why can I? Great. Okay, so let me make sure I get the bear trap. Um. Do I need to use the snail or no? 
Probably not, right? Avoid using the snail? Um, I don't think it actually matters. Really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what, okay, what, what advice do you have? Um... So, uh, the walkthrough I'm looking at yes. says use the slingshot to kill the eyes. Okay. Maybe shoot them while they're closed? Because it seems like every time you shoot, they, they close. Well, they open or close. So if you shoot at the closed one, it'll open its eye. Oh! That was easy. Oh! <laughs> okay. I just thought that they were blinking in reaction to... Oh. Well, that was super easy. Ooh, Ooh I heard some tinkling. Uh, you're right about the bowling ball and the mouth. Did I do it right, though? No. You gotta wait for it to close its teeth. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, so... Oop. Close it. I'd love it to close its teeth. Uh, ask, ask a stupid question. <laughs> get a stupid answer. <laughs> Man, I would love for that thing to close its teeth. Oh, wait. So I need to feed it something. Perhaps. Right? So I need to feed it, like, the bear trap, and then it'll close, and then I can drop the bowling ball on the teeth? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. And then I'm assuming the fingers is literally... Just chop them. Chop, like, yep. they pop up, they try to crush you, you avoid it, and you chop. Yep. Okay. Do I have enough swings of the axes to do that? I guess we'll find out. Yeah. Because that has a swing in the axe a lot, so unless the axe got some, like, perpetual life thing... I do think we don't need the shotgun. Really? If you want to save on axe swings. Some axe swings. Because we use the slingshot for the eyes. Yeah, but we need to get... Th that That being said, we still need to get into oh, the basement the to get there. So no matter okay. what, we're going to have to use the axe. True. Right? It's like, oh yeah. How do I, sa how do I save on axe swings? <laughs> Classic question. You know. That's how you know it's not a, a craftsman axe. Craftsman axe. You can get that replaced in no time. For free. For life. Are those little baby rats? I've always wondered that. Are they baby rats? Or are they... I've always thought that they were kind of cockroaches. But now that oh. you mention it and the way that they jump, mm -hmm. they do look like baby rats. Well, I'm just like, why would there be a mega rat in a world where there's normal rats? <laughs> you ask that question without realizing that there's in the ending where monster. we saved our... In an ending where we saved our entire family, the, 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 the mega rat was there <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> Like, unquestioned, uncommented on, it was just, oh, Omega Rat's there, sure. He's family. He's family. The one thing I can think of, Matt, yeah. is you might be right. There is a world... Wait, say that again? You might be right. There is a world where maybe we shatter the clock and everything just opens up to us, maybe? So we don't have to do all this, like, preliminary stuff. Mm. There. Let me just accumulate all the usual stuff. Okay. There's that. Oh, wait. I have the bucket. Put out the fire. We're just going to save everyone. Hopefully. hopefully Maybe mom. try getting a sandwich. Maybe we can feed them out the sandwich. That's what I was going to say. I'm going to actually wait for mom to give us the sandwich. Because I, I agree. I was wondering that same thing. Where maybe the sandwich would be more helpful. Or at, at least at this point, it's the one item that we don't have. So let's use it. I really don't want my sister to die either. Shoot. Okay. If I, if I use the axe here, it doesn't break, does it? I just don't want the axe to break. Yeah, that gives us one swing left. Okay. So let me go get sandwiches. Okay, get out of here. No, evil carpet. I still have everything else, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Boop. Okay, we are very equipped now. Where is... Okay, here is our rug. Nope. Oh, shoot. Okay, watch out for evil rug. Everyone is spared. Now let's do this. Boom. Okay, hey. Shoot, the evil, the evil witch. So we have to do it earlier in the night, it seems like. Because otherwise she's gonna, she's just gonna attack us. Right? 
Is she not gonna attack us? Maybe she's not. Okay, oh, she's frozen. Okay. Okay. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. So, mouth, we'll try feeding the sandwich. And then I have to switch it fast to bowling ball. The old bowling ball through the teeth. The old bowling ball sandwich switch. No! Shh! Did I not do it over the teeth enough? Shoot, I needed to stand over the teeth more, didn't I? I think you missed it. Darn it! Oh, that sucks! Here, let's... Well, since we're here... Let's see what it does with... Here, we'll set this. Then maybe... Okay, fine. So it can eat... Yeah, that definitely didn't work. Well, okay, this will give us a chance to practice with our fingers, I guess. Okay, so here we go. Okay, ooh, they, whoa, there's more than one. Okay, two, three, oh, four, five, five or ten, what do you think? Five, hey, we got that one. Shoot, shoot, oh, we're so close. But we can't kill the teeth now, damn it. Okay, oh, okay, hey, hey, leave me alone. Is there anyone in the kitchen? Is someone in the kitchen I should be aware of? Nope, yeah, it needs to be the bowling ball. I just need to actually walk on it. Forgive me for being paranoid about walking on the giant set of teeth. Shoot, shoot, oh, we're so close. And then I'm assuming this comes up and it's the last thing that I gotta kill. That's fine. You just suck my soul out. It's no biggie. No big. No big deal. Close! We're getting it, Matt! We're, We're almost there. there! This is it. We're gonna save our family. We're gonna save the, save the house. This game is so cool. This game is so cool. It is so simple. I don't know anything about the development of this thing. I don't know how old it is, but it is great. I'm so glad that we started playing this because it is really creative. The puzzle solving is really smart. It's got the right level of tension. Just everything about this game is really fun. You know, outside of the fact that our dad like stabs us in the eye and all that classic stuff. All the, all the huge. Okay, so that bowling ball is pretty clutch. And we also really didn't need the shotgun, like you said. We ended up not needing that at all. I do think you can use it to shoot like the little monster guys or the or whatever the last the heart I'm assuming mm. is the, the heart of I'm assuming it's gonna end up being a heart the heart of the house I'm feeling that's gonna be useful for you know killing the actual house so I'm inclined to still try and get it for sure yeah I would I would hold on to it it's always useful to have a shotgun around just in case you know and a bowling ball, apparently. Uh, 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 right? Who knew bowling ball would be the all-star? I guess who didn't know? Let's be honest, because bowling balls are very useful. Do you own a bowling ball? Uh, I used to, when I was younger. What happened to it? Uh, it, it just got too light. Yeah, it was a kid's uh, bowling ball. You just got too strong. Clearly, that's what it was. <laughs> You're so right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for calling that out. You're right. That's what happened. I got too strong. You know me. What, si what size bowling ball do you use? What size bowling ball do I use yeah, like at a, this point? An 8, 10, 9. You go to 12? Uh, I, uh, What's your go-to? 10, I think, is my go-to. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Here, let me, here. I'm going to shatter this real quick. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a 10. Um, it's supposed to be one-tenth of your body weight, I believe, is oh. what they recommend. That's the recommended, if I remember right. I took bowling lessons briefly as a kid. That checks out. I don't know what you're trying to imply <laughs> about that. Okay, I, I. All right. That's number one. I haven't been bowling in so long. I go bowling like one, I end up going bowling like once a year. Okay, here we go. This is the big one. So let's, let's prep for this. I'm gonna sacrifice the bear trap. To drop the bowling ball in there. So sacrifice bear trap. Oh! 
Yeah! Okay. Cool. That that was that was trickier than I would have expected, honestly. Okay, we can still get Oh, that's good. So we can actually clean up all the stuff that we needed to do. Otherwise, okay, get out of here, because I want to Nope, 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 nope. Shoot, 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 shoot. Just keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. I don't want to mess this up. Okay, it's it's very much up and down. Good one. There's always there's like a slight delay. Three. Uh, come on, come on. Four. Five. Yes! Okay, so I'm assuming something. I'm gonna prep my shotgun. I've got two rounds. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. Ooh, he's aggressive. He's an aggressive boy. Please don't come after me. Nope. Okay, they've gotten more aggressive in this room for sure. So I need to just get in, shoot, run back. Nope. Oh, no, 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 no! No! Shh! Damn it, damn it, damn it. <gasps> Do I need to kill them off? Maybe I need to kill one of them off and then I can get access to the heart and chop it? Shh! Ah, we were so close! We were so close! I felt it! Oh, no! Oh, this is so intense. Okay. Matt, if a giant evil heart uh -huh. burst through the floor of your living room, yeah. what would you use to kill it off? Shotgun? Axe. It must be axe. I would go shotgun. I would think so too. But those guys were suddenly super active. But here's my thinking. One bullet to the heart. You're dead. Luckily, you, my friend, have two bullets. It's true. I, I am living a blessed life. <laughs> my, my heart is full, as is my clip. <laughs> oh, shoot. We are so close. We are so close. We had it, Matt. We had it. All this right. is the one. I can feel it. This is it. Yeah. Do I need to... I, it feels like I need to eliminate those kind of guards... Yeah, well... Because they were moving fast. You also... You only triggered one of them. Right, so as long as I get rid of one of them, mm -hmm. right, I should be in the clear. I think you're good. Right? I agree. Okay. This is it. The final boss time. Boop. Let's get down here. Get all our stuff. Boop. Get our one shotgun shell. Although we technically don't need to do this until after all this is over anyway. Because we can just stop time, I guess. But. Might as well do it now. Stop time! Stop time! Alright, here we go. Eyeball. Eyeball. Great. Number one. So this is the guy that was causing us problems. So we want to take care of him. Bear trap to bowling ball. Wait, what if we use... Is there something else we don't need as much? Shine. A bucket? Yeah, maybe we use bucket, actually. Because I could bear trap one of these guys. Oh, oh okay. Well, well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're just going to let that one slide for a second here. Okay, axe. One. Two. Three. Whoa, close. Four. Five. Ho ho! Get dunked on! Okay. Nope. Ooh, that guy's. Okay, before the third guy enters the. Oh my gosh! Oh, they pick up speed as you run away from them. That's good to know. I'm gonna try to shoot this guy first. Good. I, I wouldn't. I would hold on to your Yeah, I think we save it. 
Okay, bear trap. Munch! Nice. Okay. Oh, shoot, I forgot. <laughs> I'm like, die, house! Oh, all right, here we go. Let's try that again. Take two! Die, house! Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. That's, that's scripted. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. We didn't die. Okay, maybe we died. <laughs> this is, this is totally intentional. This is, this is planned. Ooh, I'm, I'm definitely hurting right now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hello. Oh no, mom! We're, we were all, here's the big twist reveal of this game. We were all balloons and we've all deflated. <laughs> Look at, she's just like flat, she just melted. No, we deflated my family of balloons. Poop. Do I have any items? I have no items. So that's cool. Oh, my tiny rat. Which is totally a normal member of my family, I swear. Oh, this is crazy. That was like, you couldn't have never left this whole time. Is my dad in here? My mom shrunk a lot in death. In the afterlife or whatever you call this. That's why I think she looks like a balloon that just deflated. She'll pfft. melting. This is great. This game is so cool. You can't actually see that I'm walking through something like there's a background texture. It's very, it's very. You might not be able to see it. I have the contrast kind of yanked up on on the screen over here, so you can see that there's texture back there. I'm trying to make out what it is. It looks kind of like like bloody clouds. Oh, there's me. That's weird. Were we dead the whole time? Is that the moral of this story? Is this a classic, I see dead people because I was dead the whole time? I'm curious where this is going. It wouldn't surprise me, like we were in a limbo or a purgatory of our own creation. Oh, hello. Oh, hell, ho. Oh. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Gotta admit, uh, come here, Tabby. So we're all puppets? Okay, hey, 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 oh, oh, that probably shouldn't have come. You mustn't leave. We've been having so much fun. You need me. I do not need you. Oh, well. Wow, all right. You're a fool, a fool, a dumb insignificant. Hey, what are you doing? Wait, stop. There's no hard feelings, right? Go ahead and leave. I won't get in the way. Okay, okay, I lied. It does end, please. So we slice the voodoo doll. The end. It feels like so long ago, that house, my family, my arm, felt like a dream, like I wasn't in control, but I'm free. I'm moving on my own now. What a beautiful day. Okay, so she's got a little crutch right there.
Okay. And you start by sleeping and just wake up. Here. Did we unlock the last end here in the journal? Oh no, there's two more. <laughs> Sometimes I find myself dreaming about this place. I can feel it pulling me back, like I've never even left. But I remind myself this time it's just a dream, an old memory. Oh, I did notice that. Here. Sorry, one sec, real quick. Let's check this out. Because watch. I did notice that when we booted it up. And I'm like, was that a typo or not a typo, but was that just like a weird animation thing? So here, one second. Barkmark Games. So here we are. And see, now it says dream. It used to say wake up under there, but now it's dream, which means that we've gotten the true ending, and now there's whatever those two other things. And now there's those two other things that are like, I guess, bonus endings, but... But they're dreams, they're not real. So this is us, like the journal said, going back to the memories of this house and the like horrors that happened there. Okay, so that's house. But let's let's talk about this because before we wrap up this series, which again, like great, great. If I don't say so myself, it's a great series. We did an amazing job playing this game. Some of the best game playing that we've ever done. What's it mean? What was that? What I, I'm curious, Matt. What's your interpretation? It was a haunted house. Is that it? You think it was just a haunted house? I mean, like, uh, you could do a lot of work and, and tie in the puppet master somehow, but I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> God, Matt! Man, that is what's wrong with you Gen Z or <laughs> No, I mean, like, yeah, he's probably, like, some sort of voodoo curse master type god. Do you think it's real, though? I mean, I don't know. I, I guess that's my. Think? I guess that's my question: is Is it real? Mm. What else it, would it be? I right, because I think this whole time, I think I was operating under the assumption that this was symbolic in some way, right? Like, we've moved in. My family is. You know, I'm having a hard time adjusting. My sister's having a hard time adjusting. Mm -hmm. The boyfriend of the sister, it, it, it's T Toby, mm -hmm. seems to have been, like, murdered in the basement. But, like, was that real? Was it not? Mm -hmm. And so this whole, like, my dad's a demon. Like, this whole, this whole time I've been kind of operating under the reveal mm. of some of those happy endings that we got where it's like, we played the flute and now the whole family's together again. Yeah. And my dad is purged of whatever, like, anger and frustration that he had. Like... I read this whole thing as symbolic of a dysfunctional family and uh, and us kind of reuniting them. You know, a, a disaffected mother, a daughter who doesn't want any part of the family, a father who's overworked and angry, mm. and us not having a place in this. Like, mm. I, this whole time, that's what I've been reading. And the, and the house was symbolic of... The, the the demons are kind of like uh, negativity that was like seeping into this whole thing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Into these relationships. But now, it seems like, it, and maybe, maybe it was, maybe it was just a possessed house mm -hmm. with demons in it that yeah. was possessing our father. Mm -hmm. It is weird though that our, like the fact that our father comes into the house and is just like straight up evil. Yeah. To me, the agent of evil in this is is the house, and so for the father to come into the house and just be evil all the time is mm -hmm. weird to me. Mm -hmm. It also means that they actually killed the boyfriend, mm. which is odd. But I guess I, I guess it, I guess it's this is maybe one of those games where you don't think beyond what the, I'm so trained at this point to <laughs> try and look for like look beyond the surface and like dig deeper into it. Yeah. But maybe I mean, this is just, like you said, maybe it is just a house with a voodoo man. But I see characters being puppeteered, yeah. right? And the, the long-necked woman in the window of the kitchen mm -hmm. being like, your your sister is possessed. and this, and that. But then everyone's being puppeteered by this, like, heart of the house? Mm -hmm. That seems so symbolic to me. Mm -hmm. and, and my wife, or my mother your, and your the... Your mic's off again. What? Your mic fell. Damn it, Mike! <laughs> I don't know. I, but I guess it is. Maybe it is just none of it's symbolic. 
I'm curious. It could be. Because also, like, her, like, reminiscing at the end doesn't necessarily negate the fact that it's all metaphoric. Right, but she also lost an arm. Like, is her family alive and dead? Like, again, to the ending, right? Mm -hmm. I think back to that house. My family? Well, the body keeps the score. The body (laughs) keeps the score! In terms of, she did lose an arm at some point. Presumably in the house. Physical manifestation of trauma. You see where I'm going. Yeah. I guess. Like, so what? Did the dad was was in an abusive household? Could be. It's vague. It's mm-hmm. it's tricky. This is a tricky one. Usually by the end of the day, I'm like, oh yeah, I, it all makes sense and I got it all and it all made but here there's like a lot of half theories to be had or like half ideas to be had about the ending. Because yeah, you're right. Like the fact that she lost an arm means that at some point in her history presumably in that house she lost her arm Mm. but like how well i mean it doesn't have to be literal i mean no it is literal though she lost an arm at the end does it have to be she literally was sitting on a bench without an arm yes i i trust me i overthink a lot of things but when the end flashes to like a i i go back to that house sometimes and look at it and Uh and there's a crutch on the bench but if you lost an arm you wouldn't have a crutch then maybe I misinterpreted what the that sorry the like seven pixels that I assumed was a crutch, or I mean you're I don't know. I think she physically lost it because she said she specifically calls out my arm. Yeah, no, yeah, but again, the metaphorical arm. And out of her arm, she rips out the axe to slice the puppeteer in half. Yeah. I don't know. I I I don't know. I'm really I, I'm not sure. Let me know down in the comments what you think this is about. Cuz like I said, there's a lot of ideas where I think it can go. I'm not sure what the definitive one is. And who knows, maybe there isn't a definitive one like, you know, like Matt said, you know, it's there's a lot of different ways that you could potentially take it. He stops time. It raises up the house. The house is haunted. I Yeah, there's a lot. Of, is it just a ghost story? Is it... There just felt like so much that was symbolic in it that I'm, I, I feel like I want to make it work. But it just... Some of the details don't add up for me. So maybe it's the last two secret endings uh, or whatever those kind of like additions are to the story. But I'm curious to get your thoughts on it. What do you think this ending meant? Uh, cause I'm kind of at a loss. There's, there's a lot of different interpretations and I'm not sure which one I, I like the most cause none of them fit all the pieces that we've been presented with. So let me know down in the comments below. Uh, thank you for staying tuned through all four parts of this one. This is a really cool game. Uh, I really, really enjoyed this one. I hope you did too. Uh, and it was, you know, a little over Halloween, but that's fine. And we got more spookiness in store as we go through November and uh, December. So, you know, round out 2020 with a lot of good stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I look forward to reading your theories down in the comments below. And as always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!